Steve, I've got a game idea. I hope it's better than the last one. Uh, I'm thinking... Swords and Soldiers? No. Too lame. Sounds like some type of World War II game, but with swords, not over war games. Hmm. Well, how about... Dungeons and Dragons? Wizards and Witches? Trolls and Tarts? Pubs and Clubs? I like the sound of Dungeons and Dragons. I want it to be magical. Inspire people, kids. Adventure in realms they've never thought about before. Where magic is real and fantasy happens. Oh, that's why I like coming over here. Gets my wife off my back and she knows why I'm here. Definitely not chasing tail. Well, I went for a walk. Tolkien went for long walks. So what did you get out of it? Well, so you've got this game master and he tells the story and the other players decide what they want to do, who they want to be. You could be a ranger or a wizard or an elf. I just need just need some rule book of some sort. What you need some rest. And stop reading so much. Man, I don't know sometimes. Uh, I'm thinking about bills, keeping the wife happy. You're in a different world. You should have been an astronaut like the ones JFK is always going on about. Thanks for coming to this convention. Thank you, Gary. Thank you for giving me this world to play in. I play with my friends twice a week in between band rehearsals. So who do I make this out to? Make it out to Lord of the Realm, the Master of Disaster, the Ruler of the Kingdom of Merlando. Sure thing, Your Majesty. So, you want us to make a game where there's no board, no money, and it goes on forever? Yep, that's correct. Our biggest seller is games like Monopoly. Appeals to the greed of the mums and dads out there. In the suburbs. People who will never be rich. Yeah, this is the way they get to do it. Well, Dungeons and Dragons is a bit like that. You've got kids who will never be knights, but with this they'll get to. They'll never get to fight Greek gods, but with this they'll get to. And they'll sure get a lot richer than Monopoly. Good try. We'll pass, but I appreciate your time. So how's Dungeons and Dragons going? Couldn't be happier. Selling thousands of the books. Basements are full of kids creating their own worlds. You know what? I actually got a letter from Robin Williams the other day telling me how much he enjoys the game. You've got a kid! Can you find him over for a game? I've got to see this. <sighs> you know he's busy. And I guess I don't want to turn it into a you know, game of Hollywood squares. <laughs> I think that's a gods giving their approval. Sorry guys, I have a guest here at the moment. I won't be able to dungeon master your game tonight, but if you ring me back in an hour or so, I'll, maybe I'll be available. I'm more than happy to take you through a game. Remember, Gary, look after yourself. If this thing takes off, it's starting to look like it might. 
you're going to have to preserve yourself. There's no health potions in the real world. Only rest. At the moment, all my energy has got to go into this game because I've only got one shot. I started my own business and I've got to keep an eye on everything because well, if you don't, things just fall apart. You can keep yourself in an overseer type role. Even dungeon masters, I'm sure, take a break every now and again. Otherwise, some guy with flashy arm and an upgraded mace will take you out. Thinking of having a um, gaming convention just right here in Lake Geneva. There's, there's bound to be kids all over the Midwest just looking to hang out with like minded kids. All over the country. Just want to connect. I spoke to the mayor's office. They'll give me the agricultural hall for $20. I'll hand out flyers and hopefully some kids will show up. If they do, Gary, you've invented something greater than fantasy baseball. Push your might and magic. I was in a game the other day and I thought about my years dungeon crawling, looking for treasure. And I saw a chalice, like holy grail sort of thing. Have I been playing around with wizards and warlocks for so long that I've been ignoring another power? Only time will tell, Gary. <laughs>